Hello my fellow medical students, nursing students, PT students, extremely smart high schoolers, worried mothers, and anyone else who wants a quick and efficient way to learn. My name is Sebastian and this is my first video for Doctorate Images MD. Now this video is going to use a picture to teach you about decorticate and decerebrate posturing in a way you won't forget. Many of my classmates still refer to each posture as decorticate kangaroo posture or decerebrate kangaroo posture to this day. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now here in the left we have the decorticate kangaroo and the right we have the decerebrate kangaroo. Abnormal posturing itself is going to occur for a variety of brain issues, many of which cause an increase in ICP or intracranial pressure, and all of which are causing some sort of lesion to occur. Now, both of these positions are considered medical emergencies and tell a much larger and more dangerous issue going on within the brain. Decorticate posture, the decorticate kangaroo on the right here, could present a coma patient when they're provided a painful stimulus, or a patient could simply present in decorticate position uh, posture to begin with. The arms in decorticate posturing will be flexed, the wrists will be flexed, and the fists will be clenched. Now the arms will also be held to the chest. The legs are fully extended with the toes pointed. The flexion in the arms occurs because the red nucleus in the rostral midbrain is still intact. Now this means the lesion occurs above the red nucleus, leaving the rubrospinal tract intact. Now this is going to be represented here in two ways. The first is this ruby studded collar this happy decorticate kangaroo is wearing. And something I decided to add just before filming this video is this RM name tag to remind you that is the rostral midbrain where the red nucleus is. This happy kangaroo is also clenching this red ruby tightly to his chest to remind you it is the rubrospinal tract that is causing the arms to be in the decorticate position. Now one more thing before we move on is that this decorticate kangaroo is a court jester so he's going to have this court jester's hat. So you can picture this happy kangaroo carrying his ruby in decorticate posture. Now, a patient in a coma presented with a painful stimuli could also present decerebrate posturing, as seen in the decerebrate kangaroo. Now, decerebrate posturing is considered the worst of the two postures. In fact, a patient who presents with decorticate posture and progresses to decerebrate posture is one with a more guarded outcome than one who would simply remain in decorticate posturing. The opposite is also true with uh, regression from decerebrate posture to decorticate posture, seen as a, a positive sign. Now this is because decerebrate posturing occurs due to a loss of the red nuclei. We can see the sad kangaroo here has had his red ruby taken away. Now this has caused his arms to be extended by his sides, his wrists flexed back, and pushed against his sides as well. Additionally, the head will be in an extended position backwards because the neck is extended. And finally, you can remember this sad decerebrate kangaroo has had his ruby taken away and is being forced to celebrate. Now the ruby being taken away means that the lesion is occurring either at or below the red nucleus and that is why this is a uh, has a more guarded outcome than decorticate would. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, please come back and check out more of my videos coming up in the next two weeks. I'll be posting a Fun of the Parkinson's video about Parkinson's, the Huntington's Hunt, which also takes place in the exact same park and a new set of videos I just came up with called the Rhabdo Man, which is made to describe rhabdomyolysis, McArdle disease, two myopathic diseases, dermatomyositis, and polymyositis, and hereditary hypothermia. Hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I'm Sebastian with Doctorate Images MD. I think this is the part where I say follow me, even though I only have one image, uh, one video at this time. Go ahead and follow me. And also check out my friend's ICD-10 page. Uh, it's a free conversions chart if you are currently a doctor. ICD-10charts.com. Have a great day.